736. Natalie's here from Gamma House. Welcome back. Thank you. Good morning. It's been a while. Morning. Been a busy winter. It early has spring. been. Yeah. Always busy at Gamma House. Always, always. For those of you that don't know, let me tell you what Gamma House is. Okay. Yes. It's transitional housing. Um, it's a shelter for homeless women and children. It's right here in Mountain Home. Uh, we're the only transitional shelter from Jonesboro to Fayetteville, so we get a lot from all over surrounding counties. Um, so we stay we stay full. We're at max capacity now, and um, we have a waiting list. I've been getting calls lately just about every day, either calls or someone just stopping by the shelter uh, needing a, a bed, and we're just we're full. So um, it's it's a big need. Um, in this area for a lot of reasons mm -hmm. but it's um it's a it's a big need we obviously we're a big charity and so if mm -hmm. somebody let let's get this let's get right to the if somebody wants to help yes how do they help um always always can use monetary donations uh, that's how we keep our doors open to help these women and children you can mail a check to our P.O. Box 1230 Mountain Home. That's 72654. You can drop it by the office, which is located right there at the house. The Gamma House is the big two-story old white house behind Town & Country, um, 104 East 10th Street. It's Mountain Home. Um, you can even go to our website, gammahouse.org. Uh, that'll give you more information about Gamma House. Oh, okay. And you can um, pay through PayPal if somebody's sitting at home saying, I can't get out. You can still help us because it's right there on the, the internet. Um, a lot of people do bank drafts, automatic set up monthly payments, and their bank sends us a check, or it's automatically deposited into our account every month. And all that helps um, keep keep the doors open and keep our you know bills paid the so that we can that you provide mm -hmm. to help these women to get yes. back on their feet to become productive members of society. That's, Absolutely, that's the mission. Because we don't we don't just bring them in and give them a bed. We um, connect them with resources they need to get back out on their own. You know, they we don't have a time limit how long they can stay with us. Um, as long, we always say, as long as they're making progress. So as long as they're taking that next step needed to get back on their own, they're welcome to stay. It's when, it's when they decide, I'm just going to hang out and not do anything that say, you know what, we've got a waiting list. There's right. other people who need people that need bed. Service mm -hmm. that yeah, and who will provide. do what they need to do to get back out on their own. So... There have been instances where we've had to ask people to leave. Well, I'm sure. Uh, so, sure. but that opens up a bed for somebody else who's willing to do the hard work. Um, we do have a thrift store on the square, uh, the Yellow House Thrift Store. That also helps fund us. Um, it's been doing great, and so it's brought money back into Gamma House. And where's that at so that people it's, can uh, bring stuff to it and yes. to buy things, more yes. importantly, to yes. buy things from it? It's right there on the square. It's um, a couple doors up from Gregory Jewelers. On that okay. side of the square. Okay, off of 6th Street. Uh -huh. And um, you can donate, you know, any of your household items, clothes, shoes. We also give our women vouchers, so it helps them, you know, a lot of times when they come to us, they have nothing. So we'll give them a voucher. They're able to go down there and get clothes and shoes that they need. If it's winter, new coat, you know, anything that they need. Um, and also when they finally do get out on their own and they're starting over, it takes a lot to start at, you know, from nothing to a new sure. house. Sure. So we're able to go down there and get them pots and pans and glasses. So so be sure and donate down there. And, um, I get a lot of calls, people saying, can I come bring, drop something off of the house? We don't have storage space at the house. So we always direct them down there to the Yellow House, and it still directly benefits the women. Yeah. Um, and, and we need uh, household items right now. We're getting a little bit low. So it's spring. Do your spring cleaning and take it by there. You won't have to... Um, we, you won't have to get out of your car um, to lift a box out of your car. We have uh, ladies that they're required to volunteer down there. there you go. Well, is, yeah, so, sure, that should be yeah. part of the rehabilitation is the word to get it them is. back in the workforce. It is, and it gives them references. So they'll come unload all your boxes. Everything you donate is 100% tax deductible. We're a 501c3, so whether it's monetary or if you're donating stuff to the Yellow House, Mary, our manager there, will give you a receipt and tax deductible it's a it's a it write-off still tax time <laughs> yeah it is it is it is so um that's all tax deductible and and much much needed it fills a 
Uh, I think I'll go clean up my barn. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, but that's what it, yeah, I mean, it, it is. is. That the, good stuff truly, the there. spring cleaning, and if you know, if you're thinking about s- selling houses or whatever it may be, just tired of looking at the clutter. This is a great opportunity. Not just junk. Yes. You know, junk right. belongs in one pile. Right. But things that can be reused by people and serve a useful purpose again. Yes. Repurposed, as it were. Yes. It and is if a great you, opportunity. And if you're going through clothes and think, oh, these these clothes all have stains, if you'll put them in a separate bag. If you want to take them to Mary and just say these, all these clothes in this bag have stains, we actually recycle. So we um, we get paid per pound uh-huh. to recycle. So it still benefits. It's just separate it out if you can. If not, Mary will do it. She as she goes through the clothes, she, you know, they they separate it out. And he's and outies. Uh huh. Sure. Yeah, and sure. and we still benefit from that. So yeah. it's it's a good way to give back. You know, if you if you think maybe you can't um, do a monetary donation right now. Clean out and bring bring stuff to the yellow house because it it helps us tremendously. Sure. Tremendously. Hmm. I've got some ideas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's good. That's good. And I'm sure other people are saying, I'm really tired of looking at that pressure cooker. I don't use that anymore. It's sitting right. over there and somebody else maybe could use it. And you, like you said, if people are moving, um, that's yep. a great way. You know, you when you're moving, you always pack and then you're like, I do not need, I'm not taking this stuff with sure. me. Either, you know, get a hold of Gamma House. Occasionally we can get some volunteers to come pick up. Great. You know, so if if they have, like, I've got a little lady, she's moving, and she called and she said, I've got some furniture to donate. Well, I've got my senior, my my 18-year-old son and (laughs) another college boy. It is. And they they loaded up a truck and trailer. And and, and a lot of of times if it's really good furniture, we'll put it in storage because our ladies, again, have nothing when they're getting out on their own and... You know, just a love seat, for them yes. And be, sure, sure yes. some place for them to take with them. Because, so. because when you think of what it's going to cost you to move that sofa right, back right. to Cleveland, whatever, <laughs> you know, it, it's expensive because it you're is. paying by the pound when you're putting it on the truck, and mm-hmm. it's never going to fit into where you're going, where you think it's going to go anyway. Right. You know, or you so. think, I'll sell it once I get there, and yeah. how many why times does that happen? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Why you, you're paying to take it with you when you can do a very useful thing, and sometimes you're paying yourself more by taking the deduction than Absolutely. you are by putting a couple bucks in your pocket. Sure, sure, you are. Yeah. And we do have a couple things coming up. I'll, I'll mention this with yeah. the summer coming up, uh, fundraisers. Um, we always have our rodeo in July. It's a RAN rodeo, and it's a fun one. It's uh, kids and adults. Uh, you know, they do the mutton busting. The kids that are there at the rodeo can sign up that night to, to ride a sheep, which is always fun to watch. Um, but that's always one of our big events, uh, great food and it's just, it's really fun. And this yeah. year we're going to have, um, a pageant connected with it at the rodeo, yeah. uh, for buck, but little buckaroos and beauties. <laughs> yeah. And so, and it's going to be Western wear. Cause a lot of the kids, you should go to a rodeo if you've never been to one. Those kids come, those little ones come no, decked out. Oh, they're Cowboy decked hat. out. Oh, yes, ma'am. So we're going to have. A uh, little fun thing for them, um, and it'll be it's something new for this year, and so it'll be a lot of fun. It'll be good. We've got that. Um, we've also have uh, there's an Ozarks Junk and Jewels Festival that's going to be in June, June tw- uh, 26th and 27th, which is the same weekend as Red, White, and Blue, but it'll be at the fairgrounds, and they're donating 10 percent of all their ticket sales to Gamma House. Wow. So if you're at Red, White, and Blue, walk over the little bridge, check out if you if you like repurposed, recycled, you know antiques vintage junk it it'll be the place to go yeah just stuff and you know vintage is way back it's in now everybody's hunting that that stuff so that'll be a neat thing and they're going to give 10 percent of their sales to us and then in october which is on but we we want you to plan on being a part of our sleep out um it'll be in october this year last year uh, it snowed on the day that we were going to have yeah. it. And oh, so we've, right. we've yeah, bumped it up. Yeah. Right. yeah, yeah, it was November. Yeah. And so we're bumping it up to October this year. So those are some things to get on your calendar. To, Sounds like some fun yeah. things coming up. Yeah. 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 You know, with the little buckaroos thing, you know, remember the little coaster wagons used to buy? I don't know if you can still buy those, but make a covered wagon. Oh, how cute. Uh, that would be awesome. Yeah, you know, if you can yeah. get some little bands that go yeah. around there and put <laughs> the little guys that can make, There's guys around here that can make those I bet if you, you could cut a hula well. hoop oh, yeah. in half. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. So repurpose. That's, that's <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Genius. And put a few minds together yeah. and do it. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of good things. Let's go ahead and take a break and we'll finish out the show uh, with Natalie. Let me get the right buttons turned on here. Be right back. Time for <laughs> Sean Hannity. We'll be right back. 
7.51, visiting with Natalie from Gamma House, and Bob Zador is here as well. Yes, sir. It's going to be a nice weekend, everybody. Yay. Yeah. Yay. The rain, ready for it to go away for a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> Okay, I wanted I wanted to remind you that Ozark's Junk and Jewels that's going to be at the fairgrounds. Yes. Mm-hmm. the Yellow House is going to actually have a booth there. Really? So there's a couple ways if you want to help Gamma House out. You know, ticket sales, ten percent is going to go to Gamma House, but Yellow House will have a booth there. Um, if you're a Coca-Cola collector, you need to hit that booth because it will have some quite unique uh, Coca-Cola items um, and some other uh, other items, some Disney items, um, and then just some vintage antiques you know um so it'll it'll be it'll be neat if you're if you're one of those junkers or pickers think I'm driving all the way to nashville next week for ah. <laughs> dale you could probably have a booth of your own at it yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, really. uh-huh. so uh be sure to hit that up. that's a you know that's a easy way to enjoy yourself but still be giving back you know um mm. coming to something like that sure. so and uh coming up pretty soon be on the lookout we're going to have an open house for our at Gamma House, um, we want people to be able to see what all the home builders, Twin Lakes home builders, did. Uh, yeah. It's well. Let me know so we can get you back on the program. I will. Now. I will yeah. for sure. Um, we they're doing the final touches, and I tell you what, it has made a tremendous difference. Our ladies are enjoying it so much that big kitchen space, as compared to our little cramped space, they're all able to sit in there and enjoy dinner together without having to rotate in and out of the kitchen and. Um, and the new laundry space. We now have two washers and two dryers instead of the just one of each. And so it's it's amazing. You, you have know? large capacities, I hope. We do. Uh, yeah. We do. And uh, like a front load Maytag. Actually, or somebody. Oops, excuse me. Somebody just donated to us a front loader. There you go. Yeah, it's great. And our lady was like, ah. So I said, okay, I'll put instructions on how to use it. And <laughs> you know, it's, it's quite different from the other. You look at it, it's like that's a lot of buttons. But oh, they're enjoying it so much. And Little things like that. It matters. It matters. It matters. So, um, and also, uh, anytime you're at the grocery store, I always like to remind people pick up an extra case of paper towels or toilet paper or laundry soap, um, dish soap, shampoo, conditioner, toothbrush, hair brushes, hair brushes. We need new you hair know, brushes. Uh, Things and drop we it take by. for granted. Yes. That or or, or even a gift card. If you're in Walgreens or, or Harps oh, or whatever, yeah. you know, yeah. Walmart. If you, if you can buy a $25 or $10, Absolutely. whatever, $50 gift card, and just bring it over and say, here, help some people out. Yes. That would be a good thing to do. Because every that. woman that comes in there, we like to keep our supply closet stocked, but every woman that comes in there, we have a bag already made up with shampoo, conditioner, a hairbrush, a razor, toothbrush, toothpaste. Yeah. Two brand new towels, um, packed and ready to go f- to hand them because a lot of times they have nothing when they come they're, in. They're carrying they're everything go, they have. Their little go kit that you should have for everything yes. else for yourself. You were able to provide for absolutely. Them. And then when they're running low, you know those things, food stamps. If they're on food stamps and on a limited income, that's hard to come up with the money for. So um, we can go to our supply closet and say, "Here's you some more shampoo yeah. or whatever they're running low on." So. Those things are always a need, and you can imagine the amount of toilet paper and paper towels we go through with, oh, sure. you know, sure. 16, 18 women in the house and kids. And some kids, mm-hmm. yeah. So that's that's a The a simple things one. we take for granted that people need to help sure. with, mm-hmm. and that's, sure. that's what Gamma House is all about, is just helping people get themselves up by their own bootstraps and get it back is. going again. giving so. them a hand up, not a hand out. There you go. Productive well, like we've got, of society. Yeah, we've got one uh, little Bible study group. They, I guess they take change or whatever, and just uh, just about every month, she just brings by a case of toilet paper. But that makes a huge oh, difference. Oh, sure. You know? And when you said sure. change, had a friend one time, had a, one of these gallon mayonnaise, I'm running out of time, a big mayonnaise jar that he just threw his pocket mm-hmm. change in. And he thought he might have had 70, 80 bucks, carries it into the bank, six. $100. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you can oh change it. It's up pretty quick. You okay, know. so if you want to put all your change in the mayonnaise jar and just bring us the mayonnaise jar, <laughs> right. you mayonnaise can do jar. that too. <laughs> it makes a difference. It, it really does. does. It does. And how can they get in touch with you? Um, our phone number, 425 uh, P.O. Box 1230, Mountain Home, or 104 East 10th. Go to our website, gammahouse.org. Lots of information there. Let's help Gamma House. Yes, please do. Also, this weekend... The All-You-Can-Eat Pancake Breakfast, hosted by the VFW Ozark Post 3246 Ladies Auxiliary. 
That's on 7th and Gray Street. I got the sign out there on 62. You'll see it. Uh, pancake, sausage, bacon, ham, eggs, cooked order. It's pretty cool. Wow. $6 per person. That's this Sunday from 7.30 to 12.30. So when you get done with services, yeah. go there and have somebody make you breakfast. It's over be at good. The, over yeah, at the VFW good. for the Ladies Auxiliary there. It's going to be really good. We've got some, I'm trying to find them here and I'm running out of time. Anyway, support your local volunteer fire departments as well. Yes, indeed. Watch for the cookouts, the barbecues, the fish fries. I know that Cotter's has got, no, Cotter's is next week, the 18th. Yeah, the 18th. Out in Denton Ferry Road. Hope That's everybody a has a great weekend. Yes, Thank sir. Thank you, Mr. Thanks Bob. So Natalie for being here. Thank we'll be back you. on Monday. Time for the brush. Morning update, followed by Glenn Beck. We'll be back on Monday.